everyone, it's Julia. Um, this week I thought I would show you how to achieve this look. Um, this is a gorgeous Art Deco um, bedside table. Um, and I wanted to give it a very clean, simple look. So basically I'm calling this tutorial um, a colour wash with wet distress. And it gives you this lovely, soft look. So the first stage is to prep. I do have a blog post on this on my website and there's a link below. Um, but quickly you would clean it. I clean it with TSP and a mixture of water. Um, but you can use water, some people use vinegar, some people use a tiny bit of bleach but obviously wear gloves. Um, and then you would key it, so give it a, a light sanding. I tend to use 180 to 200 grit and then obviously wipe off the dust residue and if it's still damp just let it dry. Right, the second step would be, um, and you might not have to do this, but I did this because when you see the before picture of this, it was actually quite orange and very, very shiny. Um, and I was really worried that I'd get bleed through coming through, especially as I was using um, a pale colour um, as the main, the main base colour. So what I used is Vintro's Matte Extreme Lacquer. Um, now this works as a bleed through, and also as a top coat. So I have to say it's brilliant, highly recommend, um, not sponsored to say that obviously. Um, and the reason I like it for things like when I want to do a color wash and a wet distress is because it's clear. Um, we all know of the kind of the smelly shellac um, sort of bleed through protectors that are amazing, but they're white. Um, so that obviously would not be great when you're doing a wet distress for example and then you're going to see white rather than the wood. So I gave it two coats of this, um, I think it's like four to six hours in between each coat. So do that and then you're golden. Right, so all the prep is done, I've got my bleed through clear varnish on by Vintro um, and now you're going to paint. So I, I used Annie Sloan's Country Grey um, because as you can see it's a fantastic um, neutral colour and I wanted this bedside cabinet to be really soft. So I applied two coats, um, obviously let it dry um, in between um, and literally you can paint any which way. Um, so literally just get quite a lot on your brush and do like a cross hatch movement. And then when you've done the second coat, really important, if you can, is leave it to dry overnight. So the paint has a chance to adhere to the wood a little bit, because otherwise the issue is with doing a color wash, um, and a color wash is basically just a paint color that's diluted with water um, to make a kind of translucent color that goes over the top. So because it's got water in it, if the base coats haven't had enough time to try and sort of adhere to the wood, what's going to happen is when you take the wet cloth, it's going to pull off way more than you want to and you're probably going to end up with a bit of a mess. Okay, so leave it overnight if you can. It's now the next day um, and to go over my country grey, I wanted a really sort of soft colour, so I chose Annie Sloan's Old White. Um, because I literally just wanted a very soft, I just wanted to soften the country grey basically without kind of making it obvious there was another colour over the top. So um, I'll give you a tip is that when I do a colour wash I actually use my, um, my dog's raw food containers, obviously I clean them um, and they've got lids so literally if you've got any of the wash left over you can just put the lid on and you're good to go for another day rather than having to throw it away. What I would say is when you mix up the colour wash is to make sure you do enough um, because if you're not measuring it out specifically, and I don't, um, you might end up, if you've run out of wash, say when you get to kind of like the last side you might not have enough. If you've got to mix up more, it might be more concentrated, so more paint to water, etc. So it will give you a kind of heavier pigment over the top. So basically, to do a colour wash, really simple. Um, it's normally sort of 50-50 paint to water, but literally, if you want it to be heavier, you add more paint. If you want it to be more translucent, then you add more water. I just literally um, put my paint in my tub, get my water, and um, give it a good mix. Normally, if you lift it up on kind of your spatula or whatever, it should drip. 
Okay, so give it a really good mix because when you first put it in, it will look like the paint and the water don't really want to go together. So mix it up. Um, so you've now mixed up your colour wash, in my case, the old white and the water. And you just get a brush that you don't really care about. It doesn't have to be a fancy, you know, bristle brush. And literally dip it in. Now make sure, this is a good tip for you, that you either have a space like me where you've got well, literally a studio, so it doesn't matter if water goes on the floor. But you want to protect your surfaces, so if you're doing it inside, make sure you put a few drop cloths down because water will be going everywhere, pretty much the way that I do it. So you're gonna also, so you've got your color wash there, and you're also gonna need a bucket with a small amount of water. So, and a clean cloth. So the first stage is, you literally dip your brush in your colour wash and put it however which way all over your piece okay so it will be dripping it will look absolutely hideous and that's fine so you need to work pretty quickly um, but don't panic So dip your cloth in the bucket, um, wring it out, and then literally start rubbing lightly all over your piece. I tend to do circular movements, but it movements rather. Where I want the areas of wet distress, I just concentrate a bit more, so I just keep rubbing. Basically, you just keep going until you've got the look that you want. The look that I wanted was just literally a softening of the country grey and a bit of um, the wet distress. So mine isn't radically different. Um, so if you wanted to make more of a statement, you could use a different colour or you can have a more pigmented colour wash. But for this soft look, I wanted to take most of the colour wash off and distress at the same time. So now, if you're wet distressed, you're happy with the way it's gone, with the subtlety or not of your colour wash. So obviously, let it dry. Um, it's going to take at least overnight um, because the next stage you need to protect it. Um, I love using wax. Um, you can use any type really. I just wanted clear um, and it doesn't matter which brand basically. Some of them have a yellow tinge, just a bit of a tip, which I find with a lighter colour, if you don't get all of the wax out, you can end up with tiny sort of crusty yellow bits. So if you go for proper clear, rather than having a yellow tint, it's um, so much the better. So when it's fully dry, um, apply your wax. Put the wax on your lid, either dip your brush or your sponge into it, and then work in kind of circular movements. You can go down as well if you like, but I just find circular, it's kind of like rubbing it in. I think Annie Sloan says it's like rubbing in hand cream, which is kind of a good analogy.
I leave my wax overnight and then you can give it a quick buff. Um, you can either use a lint-free sort of Scotch shop towel or a lint-free cloth. Or I sometimes use a brush, which you will see. Um, so literally give it a buff all over. I love the velvety look. Um, that wax gives you. I know some people prefer varnishes and other top coats, which is absolutely fine. I use them on dining tables um, and on areas that are gonna get a lot of use because they are, you know, they really do protect the piece. But I love the velvety sort of soft look. And then you can put your handles back on. Um, if you wanna know how I clean my handles, um, I will be doing a video on this because I've got a great way of doing it that is just like no hassle and just simple and cheap. You can get them gleaming in a few minutes. So put your hardware back on and then you can take a nice photo of it and upload it. So I would love to see if you do this technique, what you've done, so comment below. All the products I used um, on this color wash, um, wet distress bedside cabinet are in the description and if you like this video then please like it subscribe um, hit the bell for notifications and um, I'll see you soon thanks very much done